Welcome to Lockdown Britain. So the UK is currently coming out of lockdown and one of the things that we're advised to do when we can't maintain two metre separation is to wear a face covering. And there's various lots of face coverings that you can get. Um, you can buy bespoke masks like these. Uh, if you can't get a mask, uh, any face covering like a, a buff um, is what I found in the garage. Uh, I assume it came with some DIY tool for free. Or you can even go for the whole hog and wear a respirator type covering. So, how effective are these uh, various face coverings? So, I thought I'd do a little experiment. So an important point to remember about masks such as these, these are not really designed to protect you yourself. Obviously they will give you a degree of protection, but the main point of wearing these is that these are designed to protect the people around you, not yourself. If you really want to protect yourself, you, you, you need to be wearing something like this. And trust me, I've, I've worn this when I've been out sanding and, and stuff here in hot weather and you really don't want to be wearing one of these for a, a length of time. Well, I've got here um, an air compressor. It's a little one, eight bar, five litres capacities. Eight bar is about uh, 120 PSI. And we're running that to a, a trigger. And then the trigger comes through a pipe through the back of a mannequin's head and uh, we've got the small pipe there and it's all fixed down to the bench and we put an anemometer on the marked position and we can measure the airflow coming through. What um, velocities you get from coughing, normal speech and breathing and there's, there's quite a range of them. So coughing, it's uh, air velocity coming out is uh, six to 22 meters per second and the throw distance of the droplets, and it's the droplets which carry the coronavirus. And for a cough, the distance, can, those droplets can go up more than two meters. Speaking, we're down to 2.3 to 4 metres a second, but I don't actually have a throw distance for that, although I can, you can calculate it analytically. And then breathing is, the velocity of your breath is normally, just normal breathing is 1 metres per second, and the throw distance of droplets is less than 1 metre. So the first thing we'll try is, what's the velocity we're getting from this setup without a mask on at all. And we're getting around about 20 metres a second, which is right up there with the velocity of a cough. The next thing we'll try is a buff, which is uh, single thickness. And we're getting about six meters per second. With that. We'll redo the buff now, but with the double layer of thickness of material. And that was uh, 5.8 meters per second. So the double layer of material hasn't really made a lot of difference. But we've now got a uh, cloth fabric face mask and Many of these come with a little pocket inside and you can put a PM 2.5 filter in them. Uh, this has got the filter in it. I'll try it with the filter out in a, in a second or so. So let's see how effective this mask is. And I can't actually read anything whatsoever. So before the, I take the filter out, I'll see if I can measure the leakage coming out past the mask. And I know when you wear these, most of the leakage, you can feel it, it comes out up 
um, in front of your eyes. And let's see if we can measure that. I'm getting about one meters per second coming off right, that. We'll try this mask now, but with no filter insert in it. So I've taken the filter out. And that peaked at 1.8 meters per second. I've got a second designer mask here. This one's got a vent on the outside of it and it's also got a, a wire in here so it moulds to your nose a little bit. I've got the filter insert in it. Let's see how it does. And I can't actually measure anything. Let's see if we can measure the leakage around this mask. We'll try around the eyes first. and I'm not getting anything at all. I'll now see if I can measure that any leakage coming back on this one past the side. And on that one I'm getting 1.1 meters per second. Let's try this mask now without the filter insert inside it. and zero for this one. And zero. Let's see if we can measure any leakage past the side of this mask. We'll try it by the eyes first. And surprisingly on that one, I'm getting 2.8 meters per second. Let's see if I can measure any leakage past the side of it now. Nope, that's zero. Finally, I'll test this DIY respirator type mask. And this, unlike the other masks, this one is designed to actually protect you rather than the, the people around you. And it's got elasticated harness to hold it onto the back of the head and round the, the neck. And you adjust that to actually get a tight fit on that and you can press these filters in and actually check the quality of the seal. What I'll try and do though is to measure any the outlet velocity coming through the flat filter and even though I can see that flat filter working I still can't actually measure any velocity coming out from it so it's actually quite well dispersed what I've done now I've turned down the regulator and we'll see how these masks perform with um, a much lower velocity rather than a full-on sneeze. So we'll measure the no mask to start with. I'm getting about 6.8 meters per second. So it's talking is four meters a second. Um, so I'm above talking at present. So let's try this with a single layer buff. And we were at 6.8 before. And we're now at 1.8. We'll now try with a double thickness of buff, but again at the reduced velocity. And that's about the same. So for the final test with um, the reduced velocity, it's still a bit higher than uh, talking. We'll see if we can measure any leakage past this mask. And no, I'm getting no leakage there. We'll try the side. And I can't measure any leakage at all with, uh, right from the side of this mask with, um, a, well, velocity higher than talking, but much less than a sneeze. So here are the results. Um, a sneeze, uh, and from what I'm, uh, with the velocity coming out 
uh, unfiltered, we were at 20 metres a second, and the worst performing type of face covering is a buff. And I'll show you in a second how thin that material is on the, on, on the buff. You, you, you can actually see through it. But the actual masks themselves are actually quite good. We're getting, um, the, the velocity coming out is way down. We're talking down to the level of breathing. And even from uh, the worst fitting masks, even with uh, a sneeze, you're still talking the equivalent velocity of just normal talking. So somebody, if you sneeze, yeah, you are still protecting the people around you quite a lot. And then if we crank the velocity down to, I could only get it down with this setup down to what we call talking plus, quite a bit faster than, than actual real talking, but we're, we're getting the velocities down e even with a buff to um, a bit more than, than normal breathing, but, but still the velocity is quite low. And then if you've got a proper face covering on, uh, you're not measuring anything coming through it and um, we, I couldn't measure any leakage on that one. So the masks themselves are actually remarkably effective. We'll just see how thin the, the, this buff was. Uh, you know, no disrespect to buff, but they really did not design these things as a, um, a filter for... Uh, COVID. So what I'll do, I'll put that and you can actually see the single layer of buff material. It's actually transparent. We're getting a reasonable image coming through it. So it's not surprising, therefore, that you know, it's the least uh, effective of all of the filters that I've tested.